Here is an application problem. Question 16. The fish population in thousands in a lake at any time x in years is modeled by following function f of x equals to 2 to the power of x if x is between 0 to 6 and it is equals to 8 plus 4x if x is greater than 6. When did the oil spill happen? Sketch the graph of the piecewise function. Well, so basically in the function whichever we have defined about the fish population, I have not mentioned here that because of the oil spill the population decreased in between after six years, right? Well, so the part A says when did the oil spill happen? So the reason for the change in function is because of the oil spill. So that is what you have to take care of. Sketch the graph of the piecewise function. Describe the continuity of the function, whether it is continuous or not. How many fish were killed by the oil spill? At what time did the population recover to the level it was before the spill? Okay. So make a note of the question. Try to answer it. And once you have answered, then see the solution. I would like to give you a rough sketch of this question. I'm not making it on a graph. Uh, okay, so let's read the population. Uh, let's read the question once again. The fish population in thousands. So whatever answers you are getting about population of the fish, they will be in thousands. Well, it is not asked here, but you should know that. In thousands. In a lake at any time x in years, x is in years, is modeled by this function. So it says it's 2 to the power of x if x is between 0 and 6. So what we can do here is we can find the population when it was 0 and population when it was 6, right? So at the time when it was 0, it is 2 to the power of 0, right? So let me write here 2 to the power of 0, which is basically 1. 1 means 1. Thousand, okay, and then after six years, it is two to the power of six. So two to the power of six is two times two four, four times two eight, eight times two sixteen, sixteen times two thirty two, thirty two times sixty four, or you can use the calculator, right? So we got six, and we get sixty four. That means sixty four thousand, right? So that's the population, and these things are included in the first part of our piece when x is between 0 to 6 both included. Now at this time the oil spill happens. So when did the oil spill happens? So it happened after 6 years. So that's the answer for this. So this is 6 years, right? Now sketch a graph of piecewise function. So we can sketch it here. Let me make a rough sketch of this graph. Let's sketch it here. So we have, so let us say this is our level at 6, right? So what we will do here is that to start with, it is at 1. So let's say this is our 1. And then in 6 years, it becomes 64. It's going exponentially. Let's assume that the graph goes like this and it is kind of here, okay? And let's say this point is let's say this point is 64. All the units are in thousands, right? They are in thousands. Now, what happened at six years? After six, there was an oil spill, so many fish will die. And how many? So at six, we can plug in value here and find. So eight plus six times four. So we get eight plus four times six is 24. So we'll add 24 and 8, right? So we get 32. So basically half of this, right? So let's say this is our population. After 6 years, because of the oil spill, right? So this point is 32. And there's a linear function, so with a slope of 4. So I can draw like this, correct? So that's, that's our graph. Where this is x in years and f of x 
in thousands. So I should write thousands here, right? So which I already mentioned here, in thousands. Okay. Describe the continuity of the function. Of course, you can see after six years, there's a discontinuity, right? And this is called jump discontinuity. How many fish were killed by the oil spill? So you can see 64 minus 32. So it is 32,000, correct? So that's how this comes into picture, right? At what time did the population recover to the level it was before spill? That means after some time, you know, it's increasing, correct? So sometime it will be at this level. So that level we want to know, correct? So easy way to find is f of x should be 64, right? So we say 64 equals to 8 plus 4x, correct? So we have to basically find what x is, right? So this means we do 64 minus 8 equals to 4x and 64 minus 8 when you divide by 4 you will get x correct so which is 64 minus 8 so when you take away from 14 it will be 6 and 56 and then uh, you can divide by 4 and you get x right and 4 will go 4 times 1 4 and then 16 is 14 so after so this will be let's say this point is reached let's say this point is reached where this is at this point so this is 14 years so after 14 years it will recover so 14 years means six years after the spill okay so that is how you're going to answer this application problem it is a very interesting and uh, such problems are seen in the test almost every time. So have a close look at it. Try to understand what we have done and do it perfectly in your test. All the best. Thanks.